Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I have a huge Target dollar spot haul to share with you. I picked up lots of Halloween decor, crafts for the kids, and some fall decor pieces as well. So stay tuned and I will share it all with you. Okay friends, now on yesterday's video, I shared the shop with me portion that goes with this haul. Mackenzie and I had so much fun checking out all the things on the dollar spot. And if you'd like to check out that video, I'll link it down below. And I wasn't originally planning on sharing this haul, but I had so many requests to do it that here it is. I'm gonna kick things off by sharing the fall decor items first. And you guys, these are hot ticket items. The cashier I was talking to mentioned that these would probably be gone by the end of the day. So first off, I have these gorgeous pumpkins. These are $3 each and they come in several different sizes and colors. And they all have this really nice natural sort of woven texture to them. They are really pretty. And the stem has really nice detailing on it as well. So I have this sort of um, orange one. And now these ones are very similar in color, but their patterns are different. So this one is sort of a basket weave one. And then this one is more of a zigzag chevron pattern. And then this one is a little bit different. I'm really enjoying the sort of neutral tones of this year. This totally will fit in with the vibe I have going in my house already. Next up, I have these teeny tiny ceramic pumpkins. And these were just a dollar a piece. And they're so, they had so many when I was at the store. There was a ton of them. But I really like the different colors this year. So we have sort of a navy blue one, this really cute gray one. This is a soft green color, your traditional orange, and then of course I love the white ones as well. And some of these are tall pumpkins, some of them are short pumpkins. I love their variety. Oh yes, and all the stems are painted in this really fun gold. Can you guys tell that I love decorating with pumpkins? And there were so many in the store this year, it's definitely a huge trend. So I also picked up two of these little soft pumpkins. These were just a dollar each and they had several different colors as well. This one is sort of a greenish gray color and then we have the traditional orange as well. They also had this one in the sort of navy blue color and they also had a white one as well. Now I think this is the last pumpkin that I picked up and I would have liked to have gotten more of this particular one, but this was the last one on the shelf. This is a gray one with white sort of glitter sparkly dots on it. I think this is so pretty. It works for Halloween, but it also works for fall in general. I love it. Oh yes, and the white stem is super cute. It also has a little bit of sparkle to it. Next up in the fall section, I also found some kitchen items. Now I love kitchen towels, you guys. I love decorating with them. I use them in my cooking videos all the time. And so to find a pack for just $3 is super exciting because usually they're a lot more expensive. So in this set, it comes with this towel, which is like a navy blue with all the flowers and the leaves. And then this one actually comes with a pot holder. It has these little lines on there. And then this set, comes with an apple print, which is super great for fall, and then this red striped one, and it has little tassels on the end. So these will definitely be appearing in some cooking videos in the future. Now moving on to the Halloween home decor items. I didn't go crazy this year because I did because I did purchase a lot of decorations last year, but I couldn't pass these up. These are so cute. This one was $3 and it says, the home of a witch and her little monsters. I thought that was perfect for my house. And then this one, this is a ceramic coffin and the little door opens like that. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use it for, but I've seen this one all over YouTube and Instagram. So I was happy to snag one. I also went ahead and picked up one of these spooky Halloween trees. These are $5 and they're black with a glitter on them. This is so cute and I plan on hanging this pumpkin garland on here because I love Halloween decor that's more on the cute side, not really scary or gory, so this will be perfect. I also picked up this really cute Halloween infinity scarf. This was $3 and they had a couple different designs to choose from, but I picked this one. I really like the little Halloween words on there and I like that it's, you know, it's got Halloween colors, but it's a little bit more subtle. And then I couldn't resist some Halloween bowls. 
They had several different ones to choose from, but I decided on these two. I love the little ghosts on this one with the boo inside. And then this one has the stripes on the outside with trick or treat inside. So you guys know I love to do cooking videos and cute recipes. So I'm planning hopefully to use these in recipe videos pretty soon. I also picked up four of these metal buckets. I think these are so cute. The detailing is really nice for just a dollar. I picked up four so each of my kids will have one. This one has a little skull that actually glows in the dark. This one says Happy Halloween with a cute little jack-o-lantern. This one says Trick or Treat and I especially love the inside of this one. It is so cute. It's little candy corn guys with sunglasses. And then this one is your traditional jack-o-lantern face with the stripes inside. Now I've seen similar ones at the Dollar Tree, but I think these ones are a lot nicer. Now you guys probably know I love making fun lunches, so anytime I'm out, I'm sort of keeping an eye out for things I might be able to use in those lunches. So I went ahead and picked up these mini cauldrons, and these are meant for snacks and treats, so that'll be really cute in a themed lunch or a party. And then I also picked up some of these fall inspired cookie cutters. I do have leaf cookie cutters already, but I really wanted the acorn one. And this set was just $3. Now this is something I was super excited to see. I totally see myself using these with my girls. These are hair bun kits, perfect for Halloween or crazy hair day if your kid's school does that. These were $3 each. But this basically comes with everything you need to make this really cute little bat bun. So it comes with the donut and the wings, the hair tie and the hair pins. And then this one is basically the same, but instead of a bat, you're gonna be making a little spider. So it comes with the hair donut, the little googly eyes, the hair pins and the hair tie. Isn't that so cute? I tried to DIY one of these last year and it wasn't very easy, so these, I'm super excited about these. Okay, now these next items I picked up because they were just so cute. First up, this, you guys, is a candle. I know it looks like it's a little pumpkin spice latte. It's a ceramic container with a little plastic drink lid, and inside is a really yummy smelling pumpkin caramel cream candle. It smells really good, I love it. It's so cute. And then this one also looks like a teeny tiny pumpkin spice latte, but it's actually a vanilla bean flavored lip balm. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I wanna show it to you closer. Now in the store they also had a mocha flavored one and a pumpkin latte flavored one, but I'm not super into uh, coffee flavored things, so I went with a vanilla bean. So it looks like you take the lid off and then you can actually twist it up. Oh, it smells pretty good but it's cute, it's really, really cute. Next up, I have lots of projects for the kids. I love getting these from the dollar spot at Target. My kids love doing these and I'm not super crafty, so it comes with everything they need to do the project, which makes it really easy for me. So I picked up two of the little haunted house ones and one of the little kitty cat. I would have liked to have gotten three so that all of my kids would have the same, but they only had two. So hopefully there won't be any fighting when it comes time to do these crafts. I also picked up the little ceramic piggy banks as well. This one is the little ghost one. So this is a nice heavy duty ceramic piece. It comes with the paintbrush and the paint and the little stopper underneath. So I got a ghost one. I got a little witch face. I think this one will be good for Mackenzie. And then I also got a pumpkin one. So I'm thinking Jackson can probably do this one. This one's a little bit more detailed, so that's for Mackenzie, and then this one will be nice and easy for my kindergartner. Now these are very similar to the banks, except it's a small little ceramic piece. These are a dollar each, and they're so cute. Like I said, my kids love these projects. This one is a pumpkin. We have a cute little witch right there. A Halloween kitty. And I think this is supposed to be like a Frankenstein character. Now these next things I know the kids are gonna be super excited about. These are light up necklaces. They were only a dollar each. Perfect for Halloween, perfect for trick or treating, but we're actually taking them to Disneyland. We're headed back there next week to experience all the fun for Halloween. The kids are gonna dress up and these will be perfect for nighttime when we're watching the parade and the fireworks. And I love that I'm saving money not buying the light up toys at the park. 
Now, if you saw the shop with me, you'll remember that Mackenzie was totally in love with these little masks. These are a dollar each, and there's a witch one, a cat one, a bat, and a pumpkin. So I think the kids could definitely paint these. You could even use markers on these. Just a really fun, easy activity for them to do. Can you tell I like to keep my kids busy? And then the very last item is this Vampirina notebook. My daughter Lily totally loves Vampirina, and I think she's gonna end up being Vampirina for Halloween. I'm not quite sure yet, but it's basically just a blank notebook so she can write anything she wants in there. Vampirina is such a cute show. Okay friends, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.